your name? Glenda Strauss. And what have you brought with you today? I brought a Civil War saddle, a bayonet, a book from the Civil War era, and a picture of the soldier who the items belonged to. Oh my goodness, I'm laying up in the attic, <laughs> in the banana box. <laughs> so why did you decide to bring these with you today? Um, I brought them over to the Civil War Round Table show and tell that they had earlier this year. And the people that I figured would be really interested in Civil War stuff were really interested. And they said the saddle was in the best condition of one they had seen. The I don't know what you call the thing that goes under the horse's belly that's uh, woven. It's still in very good shape. And um, I think it was the Civil War thing that they actually had there because I thought it would be Civil War things. And they actually brought things from you know, like a house star that holds a house together mm -hmm. and uh, things that really were Civil Warish. Right. Um, how would you or your family um, yes, my husband's great grandfather, George Cadwallader Leeser. His father is the man in the picture. So this is, I don't know, I'd have to count the generations. Um, and his general was a man from Sunbury named George Cadwallader. So John Leeser, the man in the picture, named his son George Cadwallader Leeser. And he was called Cad his whole life. And um, he became the uh, farm manager of the Packer Island Farm. The whole island between Northumberland and Sunbury was at one time a farm, 265 acres, with a racetrack at one end. The Packer family owned both racetracks in the state of Pennsylvania, one was on Packer Island and the other one was in Allentown, the only two in the state. That has nothing to do with John Leeser, but it's family history so that it, yes. And John actually had, and I haven't traced, I'm trying to find out 13 or 14 children. My husband's aunt said they had 13 and it was unlucky so they adopted another one. <laughs> And uh, she also said that he actually died from some disease that he had contracted during the war later. I don't know, like, if he had that many children, he had them, and I know some of them were born after the war. So, um, so how do these items connect to Sunbury's history, and what do they tell us about Sunbury? Uh, Actually, I'm from Northumberland. <laughs> okay, well. And um, I just joined the, well, I've been in the Historical Society for a long time, and I just joined the board. Well, they asked me to serve on the board, and different people have said, well, because Northumberland County is so long, they, most of the time, they only relate things to Sunbury. And so I wanted to try and bring things in from Northumberland that were more Northumberland. So actually in May, I'm going to speak at the Historical Society on the island farm. And when Packer died in 1919, and the 15 other farms he owned up and down the Susquehannas had to be sold. So uh, the island is, you know, kind of Sunbury, but not Sunbury. It's, it's that middle ground. Yeah, yeah. At one time, Northumberland had more people than Sunbury because of the canals. And the first bank was in Sunbury, one of the first banks in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I really can't think of anything. Do you have any final thoughts for anyone who may be watching this or studying about anything? Um, just really be interested in history and talk to people while they're alive. Even if you burn your roast this home in the oven, and it's like, listen to that old lady. <laughs> 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 and write things down and try and, I mean, I've been doing research on the island and Okay, now I got to go back and write on those pages. Where did you find this, Glenda? <laughs> and you know, try.
trace your family history and, and you find out by talking to other people, even just a man that was here today whom I know and had pictures, um, found out he was related right. <laughs> through you know, doing genealogy and, and tracing your family history. Go to cemeteries and just do research. Go to the, go to the historical like, society um, over in Northumberland. Pull out a book. It's just, there's so many things that you can find, and there's people there that can help you find them. And um, Fort Augusta has some rooms that you can go and view things and displays. Right now, I have a farm display over there. So, yeah. And then Cad Leeser, when he had the steel farm, when he managed the steel farm, he had a milk bottling plant in Northumberland. And in the past couple of years, I've bought three milk bottles that cost me anywhere from $50 to $100 a piece because they are rare. There weren't, every farm pretty much had their own bottle with their own label. So he did bottle for other people in this small cement block building in Northumberland, but it was in the 1930s. And uh, steel, there was a steel bottle, an Epler bottle, like when you go to milk bottle collection sales, you're just amazed. And you sit and listen to how much those bottles bring, and it's like, these people are nuts. <laughs> but you know, people will collect anything. 